Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about the basic concepts of OOPs. Basically, we learnt in the previous lecture what is programming, the basic concepts of programming and then we learnt little bit about Java. Java uses object oriented programming as its basic system. So, we learnt about the one of the concept in the previous lecture that was platform independence and today we are going to learn about object oriented programming and we are going to focus upon objects and classes. So children, a monitor, CD, hard disk, motherboard and modem etc are objects which are combined to make a computer. Each object works independent of the other. Similarly, if we break down a computer program in OOPs, each object does its job differently and independently of other. C++, Java and Smalltalk are some examples of object oriented language. Students, when you look around, you will find many real life objects. For example, car, mobile phone, chair, pen, dog, etc. There are certain objects which also exist in the abstract form that is your email ID, your bank account number, etc. Are you aware that these objects have a state? For example, lights can be red, green or yellow. Similarly, a person can be in a happy or a sad state and so on. Now, let's take an example. For example, a pen. A pen has characteristics such as brand name, model, color, size, etc. Likewise, a student has certain characteristics in the form of a name, father's name, school, class, roll number, etc. Now, let's take another example. If we consider a car as an object, then its state is defined by its brand name, color, speed, size, number of seats and its behavior is to transport people to different locations by controlling its speed and direction. So, we can say that the state of an object is its nouns which we define. That is, these characteristics can be considered as nouns in the English language. The value of these objects differentiate these objects from each other. For example, Nokia Lumia 900 is a mobile phone which is an object. Its identity is its brand name that is Nokia Lumia 900. Its characteristics are that it is its manufacturer is Nokia. It has a display touch screen. Its operating system is Windows 7.5 Mango. Its color is blue, pink or black and white its shape is rectangular so and its behavior is to communicate and entertain etc so we have characteristics of this object and a behavior which it performs in the same way if we compare two different mobile sets they are also different objects as they may differ in their brand name, model number, color, features, etc. For example, in the above slide, we have the manufacturer as Nokia also and Samsung also. And the, the both of them have the display as touch screen. They have different operating systems. They come in different colors and shapes. So, we can say that they may differ in their characteristics or maybe some of the behavior. So, we can say that the behavior are the verbs that define them. That is, the behavior can be considered as verbs, for example, accelerating, writing, eating, etc. Depending upon the object chosen, the behavior can be determined. For example, car is a tangible object and its behavior is to accelerate, to start a car, to change the gear and the function or the action which an object performs is called its behavior. 
and what an object can do is called its behavior it is represented by methods later we will learn about methods much in detail now the actions that the car performs here is it accelerates it can gear up and we can also stop the car we can also ma make it fast etc now we will consider few more examples for example mobile phone the behavior of pen is writing however a mobile phone can have more than one behavior it can call it can click photograph it can send a message we can play music on it etc so as we said earlier depending upon the object the behavior is determined is very clear from this example now let's look upon the how oops deal with it in object oriented programming the software object has a state and behavior they maintain its state in variables and behavior through methods the state is determined by state that is your nouns and the variables by verbs that is your methods let's look into much um, one more uh, one or two more examples for example we have teacher as an object its characteristics are the nouns by which it is defined that is your teacher id name subject in charge age etc and the behavior of this teacher is to teach that is teaching is its behavior another example is book isbn number title price author publisher publisher etc are its characteristics and it is used for reading an atm card has a card number bank which issues it an associated account number a cvv number etc and the behavior associated with the atm card are the financial transactions changing pin checking balance etc let's take another example and we'll be more clear about it we'll consider a dog as an object now a dog has a state it has its name a color a breed whether it is hungry or not and its behavior is to bark to fetch to wag its tail etc now we'll look more into detail now we have three dogs over here which are of different breeds they have some common behavior they have some different size they are of different age and they are of different color so basically dog is a kind of class we are talking about and these are the three objects we are looking into we'll be looking into more detail later on now i use the word class what is a class a class is a blueprint or a template to create similar objects of that class that can share a common state and behavior for example there is an apple as a class now different types of apples such as royal delicious golden granny smith can be referred to as its objects of the class apple where each object has its own state and behavior these can be differentiated in terms of flavor color shape size etc thus we can say that a class is a conceptual description whereas an object is the actual instance of that class now we'll consider the same example as earlier here there are three different objects of the class that is dog which is the class which we had talked about earlier also and each object that is the breed uh, Nepo napolitan mastiff maltese and chow chow are the different objects of these classes and they have their own characteristics and behavior thank you children we'll continue from here in the next session